the Jew pray in the masjid, in a mosque. Uh, the common understanding among Jews in general is that a Jew is perfectly allowed to pray in a mosque. Uh, I've heard this many, many times and it seems to be the universally accepted opinion. That is because uh, the standard Jewish perspective on Muslims is that they are not idolaters, but rather they worship the same God as the people of Israel. Now the reason why you don't often find Jews praying in mosques is probably twofold. One, depending on the location in the world, the Jews and Muslims may be facing two different directions during prayer. Like Muslims, Jews are also to face a certain direction during prayer. But we face towards the, the Holy Land, the, well, you guys, if you're Muslim, call it Palestine. <laughs> uh, throughout the Hebrew Bible, this land is called the land of Canaan. Canaan uh, has two meanings. The root word uh, can mean, or it can mean merchant, or it can mean uh, submission, which is very nice. So this could be like the land of submission, <laughs> the land of Islam. Uh, it's also called the land of Israel in the Hebrew Bible. Now the root word for Israel is from uh, two words, El, referring to the Creator, Nitra, meaning he, he struggles or he strives, right? So this is related to the fact that the people of Israel are supposed to strive uh, for the sake of the Almighty, which is related to the concept of jihad. It's basically the Jewish idea of jihad, setting aside concepts of war, but like the inner struggle with the uh, fleshly inclination in order to overcome it so that we can uh, subjugate our, our natural desires to the will of the Almighty. Uh, well, I really got off track there. So, when the Jewish people pray, we are to pray towards this land. Ironically, the land of submission or the land of striving with the Almighty or struggling uh, for the cause of the Almighty. Uh, now, if we are in the land of Israel, we are to face towards Yerushalayim, Ir HaKodesh. Ir HaKodesh means the holy city, or Ir Kud. Um, the other reason Jews probably are not found praying in a mosque is because they would feel very uncomfortable uh, doing so, even if it happens to be in a place where we're facing the same direction as Muslims. There are such places. Uh, most Jews are very afraid of Muslims. At least most Jews here in Israel <laughs> that I've encountered. Whether or not that's justified is a different matter, but the reality is that Jews in general uh, have a fear of, of, of Arabs and, and Muslims in general. By the way, they don't usually distinguish between Muslims and Arabs because most Muslims that they know of here are Arabs. So it's often uh, uh, used interchangeably. Now that I know is uh, inaccurate, but that's because of uh, the, the, how do you say, the situation here. Probably kind of like how uh, they consider Americans to be Christian, like just about any white person to be Christian. Obviously it's not technically true, but that's because. Don't forget to say your prayers before you eat, boys. I welcome you to consider Judaism. However, if you feel that Judaism is too heavy for you, then please consider the seven laws of Noah, which is the bare minimum that God requires from humanity. If you're interested in either of these, please visit your local Orthodox rabbi and ask him to teach you more. For more information about Judaism, please visit our website, bejewish.org. There you will find videos that will help you on your journey. Thank you.